Hey music community, what is going on? This is Dan Cassette Mayhem and thought I'd give you a little uh, room tour of my new my new room digs, I guess. Uh, for a lot of people that don't know or follow me on Facebook or Instagram, uh, I gave up my music room to my son who's soon gonna be 13 and he wanted to move downstairs, which I completely understand, he's get to that age. So, uh, that's why I haven't been making videos over the last couple of weeks. I've literally just pulled every single thing out of my music room and I put it into this little room that I'm going to show you. My, my other music room, uh, the room size was actually 14 feet by 16 feet. I've actually tried to cram some stuff into this little area. What, six by six? It's like a little cutout that's in my basement. So it's my new music room. My son's got my old music room, which he's very happy. That room turned out awesome. So as you can see, here are uh, some of the some of the CDs and stuff that I got in my collection. All the cassette tapes up on top. They're just overflow cassettes because I don't have room for them. So what you're gonna see in this video is basically my new music room in a six by six space. But I'm gonna add a few more things in here to make it feel somewhat like a music room. Of course, I gotta have my, my motorhead stuff up there. So this small wall you can see is basically one of my CD walls. And then when you come over to here, this was always in my music room, my Green Bay Packers helmet, Leo Hayes High School. And then, um, here are some of my books, my metal encyclopedia. I like looking at these books. If I'm listening to music, having a few drinks. Uh, Canadian, Miles Goodwin from April Wine. Some heavy metal, Scottian. I haven't read this book yet. I really got to get around to it. This was a heavy metal book that came from Greg the Egg, Blackmore Rules. This came from Blackmore Rules, Blackmore Rules. Uh, Greg gave me a bunch of books, actually. Some of them I don't think I have. In, I think I have in my other bookshelf. Lord of the Rings. Uh, Napoleon Hill. Think and Grow Rich. Very good book. And as you can see, here are some of my, some of my die-cast cars. Uh, obviously, big Kevin Harvick fan. So this bookshelf was always in my music room. I just don't think anybody's ever seen it because the way I used to shoot my videos... There's cassettes down there, which are, again, they're an overflow because I don't have room. There are all cassette tapes down there because I don't have my other sh my racking done. So that's the reason why for all of those cassettes on there. And here. And then you didn't hear, sorry about the glare. This is my stereo system. All cassettes on the bottom. All of those cassettes on the bottom. All those cases are all full. Again... As you can tell, no Soren Vegas. Again, this is a six by six area. This is an overstack of CDs that because my CD racks are full. So again, that's the reason why this overstock is here. This is a, one of the shelves that you see that's in my uh, videos that I was making. Uh, this cassette rack holds 680, I do believe, I think is what's on here right now. Might be actually over 700 because the very bottom row I have double. So I think there's just over 700 here. So um, anyway, yeah, so oh, and I, I, nobody's ever seen this in the, my video either. This is uh, Green Bay Packers. This used to be behind me as well. So, this is the reason why I haven't been making a lot of videos, just because I've been very busy transforming my music room into this little area. As you can see here, here are three of my guitars here, my electrics and my acoustics. Uh, there are my Sir Vegas, which I really haven't decided what I'm going to do with those yet. I'm thinking about maybe selling them and just buying some small monitor speakers. For my system that I got now. Just in case nobody's seen it. Which I think these all have. This is all Sony. Turntable Sony. 
I think it's only the turntable is only like 300 bucks, but again, I don't play a lot of vinyl. So anyway, there is my new digs for now. Again, if you're standing inside my digs, I don't have a door. So I'm just sitting basically in my basement. This used to be my music room. Now it belongs to my son. And uh, this is a laundry room, washroom, so. Anyways, there's a tour of my new digs. Hopefully in the near future, I'll see you about trying to get some videos made. I really want to get my second cassette rack all built and done. Actually, the plan of attack is, I think I'm going to get rid of uh, this rack, this wall, and this wall. I'm building all new racks. All my, all my racks are going to be white. So it's going to be shelving from almost to the top of the ceiling to the floor but all white. I'm gonna switch out from the black, go all white. And then um, I'm gonna get rid of this and put a coffee table in there. So I have my amp and everything sits side by side and a couple of monitor speakers on the both sides. So it still should sound pretty good. And um, yeah, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed my little six by six music room. I hope everybody's doing well and somewhat getting back to normal and uh yeah again that's the reason why i haven't been shooting videos that's the reason why i haven't been commenting on videos i've just been super super busy this winter uh with covid we've just been painting painting trim painting doors painting rooms getting our whole house painted this is just the bottom half of our house we have another big uh upstairs so we have a pretty big house so it's a lot of work Again, hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, take care. I see a lot of new metal being shown right now. And yes, uh, I did get some new metal. I just, again, haven't had a whole lot of time to make any videos to show any of this stuff. But maybe in the near future, I'll see about shooting another video. Anyways, until then, everybody take care from Cassette Mayhem. Stay metal. Peace out. Cheers.